So if you're a web engineer, you probably use the command line interface for various things. However, sometimes there are commands whose configuration options and values are impossible to remember and sometimes just not worth memorizing because you don't do it so often. I'm speaking, for example, about FFmpeg. Like if you wanted to take a video and convert it to a GIF, or if you want to take a video and convert it to an audio or maybe another format, it's like FFmpeg-i for the input file and then dash what? And sometimes it will infer that you're trying to convert based on the output file's extension. It's sometimes hard. Um, or if you want to like find the biggest node modules directory so you can delete it or things like that, it's difficult. So I created um, a, an, an AI tool that is basically a copilot for your CLI. Let's look at how it works. So we come over here to my beloved iTerm2. We'll, it, it's called idli. So we'll npx idli show me the largest node modules directory in in sites and print its size. And we'll run that and I forget the API, it's idly ask, my bad, idly ask everybody. So now we, it thinks a bit and then it gives me this command that I honestly would not know how to write. And then I'll run it and it says I have a 402 megabyte node modules directly directory in this, look at that, incredible. Um, how about if I want to npx idly convert so I've got here movie.mp4 in my directory. Um, again, it's idly ask. How do I convert movie.mp4 into a GIF of high quality? So it'll think and it'll give me a command to do exactly that. And it knows, the cool thing is it knows that I'm on Mac OS and it knows what architecture, ARM64, it just knows this, it's so cool. Okay, so let's go back. And so now, look, I would never in a million years ever think to create an FFmpeg thing and then pipe it to GIFsicle. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's run this. And indeed, wow, that is incredible. And and we'll ls. And surely enough, we have output.gif. And let's um, open that output.gif and see what we have. Oof. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Um, okay, let's say, um, what else can we do? Let's say um, npx idly print the file size. How about that? We'll, we'll ask to, um, print the file size of output.gif and output.mp4. Um, okay, that's it, run. Well, output.mp4 doesn't exist. I think it's output.mov. I didn't mean to ask idly, but ls, what? It's movie.mp4. Okay, okay, okay. So we'll take the command do sh and we'll say movie.mp4. Right, so cool, I even learned about this do thing. I didn't even know that. So here we go, three megabytes, 39 megabytes. Um, let's let's say to convert it to a GIF of high quality and about 720p resolution. Think and give me a huge contrived, there we go. I don't, I, I know what none of this means. And so we'll run this command. It seems to be processing. Okay, and so now we should have another GIF, let's check output.gif, movie.gif. This is output.gif, that's what we had before. This is movie.gif, oof, a big gif, and it does exactly incredible. Now, um, that's just some examples of things we do, or things I do at least as a podcast host and content creator every day, but there's maybe more. We, we talked about like finding the largest known modules file so you can delete it and so on. This is cool. I love it, it's open source, I made it. Feel free to check it out here. If you go on GitHub, it's tejasq slash idli. This is where you can find it. Um, leave a star, I'd encourage you to do it if you want to. Um, but also the source code is all here, some demos. You can actually see how it's built and talk about actual idlis. Um, yeah, I, I'm a, I use this every day. Um, as I create videos and I go like, oh, that MP4 is too big, let's compress it, let's find the right size, let's dial in the detail. Um, let's maybe create some YouTube thumbnails, add transparency. Like, you can do a lot with the command line. You can do a really good amount of work with it. We just often, at least for me, I don't know the right commands to use. Now, there's other tools that have this feature, like warp, right? If we go to, like, warp.dev, it's a great terminal built in Rust and everything. It's pretty great. Um, but... When you, to use it, you have to like sign in, you have to authenticate, you have to sign in with GitHub. You can't just use the terminal. And I thought this was strange. And sure, you get some AI features, but I love iTerm2, the, the, the script back stuff. And that's why I made this. I use it 
Let me know if you do. Also, final thing, it's open source, meaning we can build it together. If it's not meeting some need that you have, open an issue. We'll collaborate, we'll fix it. If it's um, buggy, I apologize. I have tested it on Windows. It works on Windows. It knows the commands based on the environment, Windows, Mac, Linux, etc. So give it a try. I'd love to get your feedback and iterate and build something great together that hopefully is useful to others as it is to me. Anyway, thanks for watching. Peace.